Hey traders, welcome back to this video series of candlestick charting patterns. And in this video, talking specifically about the bullish engulfing candlestick. So let's draw it, let's talk about it, let's analyze it and decide what it actually means from a supply demand perspective, from a trading perspective, and let's go into some depth about it. So the textbook says that bullish engulfing, and I, I agree with the textbook on this occasion, I think that's quite right, is that you have a day one here. In fact, you know what, let's go bigger. I always make the mistake of doing it too small. We can always rub it out later to do some more stuff. So we've got day one kind of here, which is doing whatever it likes to do. And then day two, we have this scenario here. So we've got a massive candle here, and that is going to be colored green if we're using the green for a uh, close is higher than the low in a candlesticks, or um, you know, it could be white if we have our settings on that. But I'm gonna color it green because this is how I, generally have my candles. And the prior day, um, you know, I don't think it matters so much. I'd be interested to see what the textbooks are. I don't know what you thoughts on it, guys. Put some comments below if you think that should be red or green. I think probably better being red personally, slightly, but really this is what we're, we're on about, it's day two. So this is, this is your day one uh, candle here, and this is day two here. So what's the whole point of it? Well, the actual pattern that you must have is that you have the, uh, a gap lower. So you've got day one, and if we look at it from an intraday perspective here, this is day one, we, we kind of open up here, and this could doesn't necessarily have to be that kind of shape. This is the one that's the important one. This is the bullish engulfing candlestick. We have a drive lower that closes at lows, or pretty much at lows, it doesn't have to be. It closes somewhere, let's say it closes there. Okay, let's say that was just a low print. It closes there. I don't want it to look like it's too extreme. It doesn't have to either way. The next day, the most important day, is the gap lower, right? That's the key to this whole thing, is that it gaps lower. Here's the open, okay? Because it's a green candlestick or whatever color you're using to, 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 to denote that. Gaps lower, it gets rejected straight away. That's the point, it's a rejection of the gap. Bulls have said, no, 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 this is good value. I'm gonna buy this gap lower. So on day two, let's say that's day one, day two, there's the open and straight away, they fill the gap, they push it up and we end up closing at highs. In other words, sellers see that overnight and say, hey, it's a gap, There's whatever overnight, overnight futures, the stock, whatever has repriced it with a gap lower um, price tag on it, if for want of a better word, better phrase, immediately bulls have perceived it as value. They've said, hey, that's good value. I'm buying that straight away. And not only have they filled the gap, but they've also gone and said, uh, stuck their middle finger up to the bears, basically, and have said, uh, you, you can forget it because not only do we perceive that as value, but by the end of the day, we perceive it above that highest value. And in actual, even more than that, we're closing this thing at the highs. So that it really is that your supply demand shifted completely. You've had supply been in, been in sort of charge here as you've had the gap lower, but almost straight away, and this is why you've got to have a thick body with this. This is really what they, the bullish engulfing is all about. Straight away, these guys have said, yeah, you know what? Let's buy this thing. Let's go in straight away, scoop it up, and we'll continue to buy. So how do you strategize from that? What's your trading strategy from that? Well, generally speaking, the textbook is gonna tell you to buy, you know, at the high of the close of this candle here, and then you're gonna have your stop under this low here. And you know, that makes such perfect sense. If you're swing trading, if this is in the right conditions, in the right scenario, um, let's talk about some scenarios in a second, but that really does make sense, doesn't it? You quantified your risk. If it genuinely is pure demand coming in and overstripping the supply, that is gonna hold. If it doesn't hold, then it's not really bullish engulfing. You wanna be out of the trade anyway. The premise of the trade is wrong. It's a valid place to put your stop. Let's look very quickly about the scenarios where we would like to have this trade or where I would like to have this trade. Again, let me know if you've got any ideas on where you like to see this bullish, uh, bullish engulfing candle. Uh, the two things I can see this would be really good for, one in a downtrend where you've got that, then you get your bullish engulfing there. That would be a good place to put it as a potentially reversal. Or even better for me is an uptrend, a pull back in the uptrend. So there's my uptrend here. I'm pulling back. That's one of my candles on the pullback. So maybe I've had three or four days of pullback. Then I see this bullish engulfing, so I get the final gap lower on this pullback that gets bought and gives you the bullish engulfing. That for me is an all aboard signal. Yes, I wanna get long, I wanna look for a continuation of highs, especially if that's my first 
pullback trade, especially if I've already broken out of maybe previous resistance on volume. I'm doing that. I'm getting that within a a pullback scenario that's a very nice powerful strategy and then as i say uh, also not bad on the end of a downtrend being very cautious with that is that obviously you could just sort of retest here before you you kind of roll over you've got to see how wide this is a sort of volume again uh, i don't think i mentioned this but i don't know why i said it again but you kind of want to have the volume and then a big volume there to indicate that hey Bulls are in charge here. They're stepping up to the plate. They're buying, bidding, 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 going high bid, taking the offer, taking the offer, making the price print higher, making the price print higher all the way, all throughout the day, right until the closing print. Aggressive, very, very making a very bold statement and reading between the lines of what they're doing is they're perceiving it as value and potentially there could be more with it. That's the whole point. If they're closing at highs, there could be day two, three, four, five, even maybe a few weeks worth of move on it. So that's the idea in it. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below, guys. Do you think this is a good chart pattern, a candlestick pattern, excuse me? Do you use it? Whereabouts in the whole thesis and whole vision of market? Do you like to use it? Do you like the idea of that on a pullback? That's one of my favorites. If you've got another one, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel for more charting patterns for more candlestick patterns or technical analysis strategy setups discipline psychology and all that good stuff to hopefully make us better more profitable traders good trading out there guys take care bye bye